K-State closed out its non-conference season September 23rd with a 55-10 victory over North Texas at KSU Stadium. Jonathan Beasley set a K-State record with five rushing touchdowns and also threw for 202 yards in the victory. Beasley's five rushing touchdowns were just one shy of the NCAA quarterback record of six set by D. Dallas of Air Force in 1989. The special teams played a key role as well by blocking two punts in the first quarter. Four minutes left opening quarter, 14-0 Wildcats. High snap, K-State blocks it. Bryce Leibel blocks it. Ball's loose inside the five. North Texas picks it up. It's down at the one-yard line. That's where K-State will have the football. And has a large crown also, so the water runs off of it better than most fields. Largest crown in the world, some say. Ball has a second punt block. The ball's loose inside the 20. It's drifting toward the out-of-bounds line, and it will go out at about the 15-yard line. But the Cats have now blocked two punts here in the first quarter. The Cats finished non-conference play at 4-0 with a 55-10 win over North Texas. That dominance didn't change when the Cats opened Big 12 play with a 23-point road win at Colorado. The 44 points were the most case it has ever scored against Colorado. Jonathan Beasley said it was a game to make a statement. The Cats would once again be back in the Big 12 title chase. Everything it was because we just got out of our non-conference schedule. And a lot of people are saying, you know, we have, the, we have the easy schedule and they had the toughest schedule. You know, they played three tough games and lost them by, I think, a total of 10 points. And that they were more battle-tested than we were. But, you know, we were, come, we were able to come out and jump on them right away. And it just took them out of the ball game. The Wildcats scored touchdowns on their first two possessions and never looked back as Beasley threw for 293 yards and three touchdowns. Twins to the far side, Wesley and Morgan. They run the option to the far side. Now back to throw is Beasley. Back to the near side to Shadmeyer. Touchdown, Kansas State! As Shadmeyer leaks out to the left side of the formation and is wide open, makes a catch, and for Shadmeyer, his first career touchdown. Twins to the far side, double tight end set. They run the option. Now back to throw is Beasley. Looking deep downfield, trying to find Lockett. Throws, Lockett makes a catch. 20, 15, 10, 5. Lockett bumped out inside the five-yard line. Aaron Lockett burns. Colorado secondary. Phil Jackson knocks him out at the three. It's first and goal to go for Kansas State. Tenth catch of the year for Lockett. First and goal from the three. I formation, Scobie the deep back. Nick Lackey's in motion. They turn hand it off to Scobie up the middle. Has a touchdown for Kansas State. And the Wildcats have come out firing here in Boulder. They lead it 13 to nothing. Colorado tried to rally behind freshman quarterback Craig Oaks. But the Cats get two more big passing plays in the second quarter to take a 34-13 halftime lead. 13-6 Wildcats, 10-05 left first half. Beasley in a shotgun, trips to the far side. Here comes the blitz. It's the slip screen to Morgan, makes a catch to the five. Quincy Morgan, touchdown. Kansas State as they run the slip screen to Quincy Morgan. Beasley in second and eight, turns, play action fake. Back in the pocket, looks, throws it downfield for Claybaugh, makes a catch at the 40, has wide open territory. 50, 40, Claybaugh 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, and pushed out of bounds at about the two-yard line. Claybon, sixth catch of the year, first and goal from the three. Lucky in motion, they turn hand it off to Scobie, who fights off one tackler into the end zone. Touchdown, Josh Scobie, his second touchdown of the day, and K-State answers back that quickly to go up 26-13. Scobie the one back in the backfield. They snap it back to Beasley, has some time. They try it again, he throws it to the corner, the pass is caught, and it is a touchdown, Kansas State. Aaron Lockett makes a catch in the end zone, and the Wildcats go up 33-13. The defense also got into the act as safety John McGraw returned this interception 71 yards for a touchdown to give the Wildcats a 41-13 third quarter lead. They turn, they run the fake handoff to Cormier, and then he throws it back the other way. Picked off by John McGraw, who picks off the halfback pass. McGraw to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State. John McGraw's second interception of the day. The Cats improve to 5-0 and win their 30th consecutive game in the month of September, beating Colorado 44-21. The following week, Kansas State continued its dominance of the Kansas Jayhawks with a 52-13 victory that secured the Governor's Cup for the eighth consecutive season. 
Senior defensive end Chris Johnson turned out the lights on Dylan Smith and the Jayhawk offense as he registered 16 tackles, including seven behind the line of scrimmage. Four wide receivers on the far slide. Wimbush actually lines up as a wing. Back to throw Smith. Looking right. Gets hit. Dropped. And he fumbles the football. It's loose. And Kansas State has it. Chris Johnson nailed Smith. He fumbles. Fata He pulls it up. K-State's got it at the Kansas 16-yard line. Five players out on patterns, Greg. You're exactly right. Two of them are running backs. No, no one was open. Great coverage downfield. And Chris Johnson fought through the line. Put the big hit on Dylan Smith from behind. The ball fell to the ground. Mario Fata He picked it up. Great hands by Mario Fata Kansas desperately needs something positive to happen here it's all been, it's been all k-state to this point they hand off to norris nowhere to go chris johnson again there to make the tackle fourth and seven for kansas with the wildcat 11 smith under center back in the pocket looking downfield now being rushed gets hit goes down k-state with another sack on smith at the 14 yard line and then again it is chris johnson who has had one amazing first half for kansas state on defense after taking a seven to zero first quarter lead wildcat offense erupted 31 points in the second quarter. We were able to get things, you know, first quarter we didn't play that good, you know, K did a good job of kind of, you know, getting us out of our mix, but I mean, right in the second quarter it started, we knew that, you know, after we got that first touchdown that things were going to roll and it, it just rolled from there. Second and goal from the four. They stay with the power eye formation. Play action fake. Beasley rolls the pocket to the far side. He's going to run himself, gets a block from Lecky. Beasley dives to the pylon. Did he get in? No signal yet. Touchdown, Kansas State. Kansas State first and 10 for the KU 49. Play action fake. Beasley back in the pocket, throwing deep downfield, looking for Lockett. Makes a catch at the Kansas 20. Lockett rolls on his back after making the grab. Double tight end set for Kansas State. They run the option to the far side. Beasley keeps it himself, gets around the corner. Jonathan to the 10, 5. Jonathan Beasley, touchdown, Kansas State. Jonathan Beasley goes in from 15 yards out. K-State with the ball at the Kansas 30, already up 21-0. Beasley, play action fake, back in the pocket, looking downfield, now rolling to the far side. Still holding the football and throws it down toward the goal line. The pass is, was it caught by Morgan? It was at the four. Quincy Morgan pulls it in at the four-yard line. Beasley, quarterback keeper, goes over the top. Touchdown, Kansas State. Jonathan Beasley's third rushing touchdown. Wildcats lead it 28-0. Beasley, play action fake, back in the pocket, looking deep downfield, has plenty of time. Now rolls to the near side, still looking, throws a pass, finds Nick Warren, makes a catch at midfield. Warren down to the Kansas 44-yard line for Nick Warren, his first catch of the year. Second and 11 for the Wildcats at the Jayhawk 22. Beasley takes a snap. Being rushed, wide receiver screen to Morgan, makes a catch, 20, 15, Quincy 10, Quincy 5, Quincy Morgan, dive, touchdown, Kansas State, and the slip screen works again for six points, K-State's up, 34 to nothing. The Cats led 38 to nothing in halftime as Jonathan Beasley rushed for four touchdowns and threw for another. In the eighth straight win over the Jayhawks, Kansas State has now outscored KU 313. 85 during that stretch. This time it was all purple. Kansas State 52, Kansas 13. Uh, I'm honored to be here today on behalf of the state of Kansas to once again present uh, to your team the, uh, the Governor's Cup trophy. Coach. Thank you. set the stage for a matchup with the undefeated Oklahoma Sooners. The Sooners jumped out to an early 17-7 lead and then held off a late Wildcat rally and snapped K-State's 25-game home winning streak. Beasley sets, throws, pass caught by Morgan out in the flat as a first down off the sideline. Morgan to midfield, Morgan to the 40, 35-30, cuts back to the middle of the field, to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Quincy Morgan, and there's that one big play Kansas State's been looking for all afternoon. Ferguson's fifth punt of the day. Allen back at the cat 28. Good snap to Ferguson. Gets it blocked. Kansas State blocks it. Newman picks it up. Runs it in. Touchdown. Wildcats. Terrence Newman picks it up and scores. And Kansas State is to within eight points. That was as close as the Wildcats could get. OU's Tim Duncan sealed the victory with this 24-yard field goal, and the Sooners held on for a 41-31 victory.